Good morning, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day today. And I've had a really emotional morning. And this morning, it's not tears of sorrow. It's joy. Through love, love is a feeling. And that bonds you even on the other side. Through feeling comes, and that bond, comes division, and through feeling comes what you hear, feel, see, all of that, right? It's all from the feeling first, the bond. Now, it doesn't always have to be with bond. Because you can call upon a spirit to come visit you. Like, if I wanted to call Elvis Presley or Hitler or whatever you want, dude. Whoever you want. But it's quickest with the feeling and the bond that you have. The connection of love. That's where they're going to come first. So it's like they're your training wheels. Because I keep mentioning, you have little training wheels along the way, and as it grows. So this morning, my daughter Angara, she woke up, so she has to come and see her daddy and, and give kisses, and she likes to lick my hair, and I love my girl. She was my, my grandmother's favorite, because she loves them all, but um, she had a cat before that looked just like her and so she had called her little red and um she was real close because Ongara would lay with her a lot and I've shared a picture too of of the two of them sleeping together <laughs> that was sweet so I never had a chance to meet my grandfather her first husband um Edward John Kovac, the first one, because I'm the third, my legal name. Don't call me that. People ask me a lot, you know, what do you want me to call you? And if they're friends and family, that kind of thing, whatever, dude. I know who I am, you know? But uh, I do prefer Chad. That's my stage name, and I earn that shit. But, um... Saw my grandfather over there. Behind me was like a family photo. There was my grandmother, her mother, her grand, uh, grandmother, and behind them also, further back. My grandmother thanked me this morning. Now, it was her caregiver. I had asked, just because you want to know, you know, like, do you think I did it, you know, once it's all said and done and they've transitioned over, you know, you want to know, do you think I did a good job? Do you know that I love you? Do you think I did a good job caring for you? Because I tried. And my grandmother showed me herself in the shower when I was showering her off and reminded me it's not the first time in life that she took her greatest fear, which is water, especially on her head. My grandmother did not like water. Was deathly afraid, but a bump. <laughs> deathly afraid of water in her life, especially her head. Now, in like 89, 90, somewhere in there, um, she came down to Florida uh, for a honeymoon, and we went to Bush Gardens. My grandmother being deathly afraid of water. We have a photo together at that moment down there. We got on the conga. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
And that girl was soaked head to toe, and she had a blast. Head to toe soaked, and that woman loved it. And she reminded me this morning, showing me, and I could feel her skin, her nails, everything. And she was hugging me. Showing me that when I said, okay, I'm going to get your hair wet again, you know, and yep. And it was okay. She let go of her greatest fear in life because she trusted me. And I think that says a lot. She thanked me. Because I had wanted to know all this time, it's been just over a year since my grandmother passed, I wanted to know, you know, like, do you think I did a good job? Because I tried to set aside family and come at it like a medical professional and a caregiver and her nurse. Do you think I did a good job? And she thanked me. For taking care of her. And she, in this vision of showing me, which she didn't do in that moment in life, but in this coming to me this morning, and I even got up and came out and I grabbed her urn and I'm holding on to her urn and, you know, I'm giving her a hug in return, you know? She leaned into me and hugged me. She thanked me for taking care of her. And then, all of the ancestors before her, her family that she spent her whole life trying to hold on to the memory of, they all stood right behind her in thanking me for caring for her as much as I did and doing such a good job and taking care of her and being her caregiver and her nurse. It was an issue and it took a while. She felt a lot. You know, I mean, she was scared, she was going blind, going deaf, she was losing control of her body. It bothered the shit out of her. And she was afraid of the actual transitional moment. And she thanked me. And I know. And that comes through... From feeling, comes seeing, comes through with hearing, and it's all beginning with feeling, okay? So when you connect to your loved ones, and those are your training wheels, before you move on to connecting to, ooh, I want to talk to Elvis Presley, or ooh, I want to talk to Cleopatra, you know, all that shit. Your family, your loved ones. That's your bond with love from life into their transitional phase of death and all that, right? So those are your training wheels. It's getting stronger and stronger. And I wanted it so bad, because I'm a member of Hollywood, you know, and Hollywood, no matter what level or whoever I am in this world, Hollywood shows you all kinds of shit with the fucking afterlife, and you want to have these moments, and you want it to be like a fucking Hollywood movie, you know? And we, wow, man. With my grandfather, he was showing me it really is. It was all like you'd want it to be in a movie. My grandfather, I saw him in his suit. With all the white behind him, 
and all the rest, you know. So there was my grandfather over here in front, and then my grandmother's urn in between, and me, and then them behind us, and that whole aspect was, no matter which direction you're looking in, you can look all around. They are there. You don't have to look in one specific spot. Typically, when it comes to talking to the dead, I look up. Because <laughs> I talk to the moon, the same thing. I look up. You know what I mean? You don't have to do that. They're all around. No matter what direction you're looking in, they're all there. They're all around. Through feeling, you feel them. Through feeling, you see them. Through feeling, you hear them. And you hear. But it's not the same as a human speaking to a human. And that's where I'm trying to really add it all up in my head and sharing it with you now. Your feeling is where all the information comes from. So for later on, when I have moments and I need to remind myself, or if you also want to have in learning moments and everything, you start with the feeling. And those you cared about the most, that love you the most, those are your training wheels. That's beautiful. So I held on to my grandmother's urn this morning and I gave her the hug in, in return that she was giving to me this morning and saying thank you. And all of my ancestors? Dude, I couldn't fucking believe it, man. Angelo, recently, had shown me an image of a woman, very well-to-do, fabulous hair all up, fabulous dress, but then I wasn't sure if that was her mother or her grandmother, and I felt like it was her grandmother. She had the connection with her grandmother in the way that I had with my grandmother, a bond like no other. My father was close and always been close. They were tight, you know. Not like my Grammy and me. My Grammy and me? My Grammy. We had the bond the same way that she had with hers. And through generations long before, we were all cemetery found. If you couldn't find my grandmother when she was little, Go to the nearest cemetery. She's hanging out with all our friends. Her ancestors and their ancestors and their ancestors is far back. We could all be found in the cemetery. That's our happy place. It's peaceful, it's calm, it's beautiful, and we're amongst friends and family. Even if I'm going to a cemetery and I don't fucking know anybody. We're all amongst friends. We're all amongst family. And we love. And we would rather be there than anywhere else. So if you can't find me, <laughs> that's where I am. Take your pick, because there's, there's few here. But she answered me this morning. Because I wanted to know, as a caregiver, especially with family and, you know, not just all that, right? But as her caregiver and her nurse, I wanted to know, did I do a good job? I mean, I tried. Oh, I should have put moisture on this morning. Dude, I haven't even gotten ready yet. <laughs> but I wanted to know, like, you know, do you think I did a good job? I mean, I tried to set aside family and give a professional experience. But with the added benefit of being family, I'll do whatever I fucking can for you. You know what I mean? And she knows that. We have video 
up post where we've acknowledged that together. It's for all of you to see, too. My grandmother knew. But yet after she passed, I just wanted to hear it again. You know, like, and just know, like I didn't know before, did I do a good job. And now this morning, if I didn't know it before, I can rest assured knowing, hell yeah, man. And all of the ancestors before her, they were all watching as I cared for her. I had been upset. I didn't get enough help that I needed from my father and my brother. I needed help. I couldn't do it all on my own. I did. With the help of Ed being here, he helped me with cleaning out the rest of the house quicker. I could have done all that on my own, but with caring for her and cleaning the hoard and everything, like, I needed help. So he was here and he, he did help for a bit. And we got all the rooms cleaned from the ceiling to the floor. And, uh, I'm grateful. That all of my ancestors, and I now know this morning, all of my ancestors, it wasn't in my head. They were here, watching the entire time. And I did do a good job. And my grandmother thanked me by showing me her in the shower when she was alive and I was, you know, showering her. Didn't happen in the actual living experience, but in this, she showed me. She leaned in, all wet, <laughs> and hugged me and thanked me. That's my confirmation this morning. My grandmother said, yeah. So... Your loved ones, when you go to communicate with the dead, your loved ones that love you, because love never dies, it's a bond. You take that to the other side. Those are your training wheels. And from there, once it grows, <laughs> and you get good at it, then you can call in people, whoever you want to talk to. If you want to talk, and I gave examples, like if you want to talk to Elvis or... Fucking Cleopatra, you know, uh, like, it doesn't matter who it is, man. The ones that you have that bond with, and then, like, with Marilyn Monroe, she's always been solid with me. Because I gave her a pic, and we have the shirt and all that, we, we've explained. There's a little bit of a difference. Because I have something that's got my physical energies into it, my blood, sweat, tears, you know what I mean? And she, yeah, so we have our gift to each other, and that's how we were able to do all this time. But your training wheels for the communication of the dead is the ones you love and that love you. Your feeling, because love is a feeling, through the feeling, your training wheels is where you get, because it's not the same as talking to a human and they talk to you. It comes through with feeling. It's the feeling you hear the conversation. It's the feeling that you see. And you're able to translate. So for all of you out there, these are your training wheels. This is the advice that I'm able to give, and we can all do this shit. So if you want to communicate with the dead, see them and hear them, 
And you want it to be a fucking Hollywood thing. You don't want to have, like, a stupid moment. You want it to be like what you see in the movies. It gets better with time. It gets stronger and more solid and physically solid with time. But those you're connected and bonded to with, with love here on this earth that transition and take that bond of love, those are your training wheels. Start with them. And as it grows stronger, that's when you're able to go and connect on to other people. I hope you all have an amazing day today. And by the way, not only is it Oscar the Grouch's birthday today, happy birthday, Oscar. I love you since I was a child. It's also Marilyn's birthday today, Marilyn Monroe. So, let's all take a moment to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my Marilyn. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Namaste, everyone. Have a blessed day. May God bless you and all that you do.